President Joe Biden holds a highly scrutinized news conference tonight with a very big audience watching, seeing how he handles reporters' questions. It all comes two weeks after his debate nosedive in Atlanta that led to his campaign fighting for its political life. White House correspondent Owen Jensen reports. That's right, Monsi. That highly anticipated news conference was slated to begin at 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Instead, it's been pushed back to later this evening here at the Walter E. Washington Convention Center in the nation's capital, where the NATO summit is underway. President Joe Biden arriving at another NATO workshop, meeting and greeting world leaders before they get down to more business. We must work ever more closely together to preserve peace and protect the rules-based uh, international uh, order. Thanks to your support. A little later, President Biden meeting with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. We are thankful to you and partners. And of course, we will discuss uh, achieving a just end to the war. Here they go. There goes one. The U.S. announcing a new $225 million aid package for Ukraine, including an additional Patriot missile system to bolster its air defenses against a deadly onslaught of Russian airstrikes, including one this week that hit a children's hospital. And we're working with our NATO allies to ensure Ukraine is flying F-16s this summer. And uh, we show the world that we stand with Ukraine now and in the future. In addition to providing more help to Ukraine, the Democratic incumbent fending off calls for him to step aside as the party's presumptive nominee following that shaky debate performance against Republican Donald Trump. Other Democrats stand behind the president. And he can win this election, but I do think the Democrats across the spectrum need to either rally behind him uh, or just accept that this is his choice to make. Tonight's news conference, critical. A strong performance by President Biden could convince members of his party that he still has the ability to both win in November and to serve a second term. A weak effort, however, could make the calls for him to get out now grow even louder. As President Joe Biden wraps up the NATO summit with a rare solo news conference, on Friday it's back to the campaign trail when he heads to Detroit, Michigan. At the Walter E. Washington Convention Center, Owen Jensen, EWTN News Nightly.